This is Brent with Likens Motorsports. Uh, continuing work on this 496 Ford FE. And um, I'm at the point now, oil pan is on, timing cover's on, heads are all bolted up, and the lifters are in. And um, what I try to do before the intake manifold goes on is I try to get the oil pan uh, full of oil and prime the pump. And the reason I do that before the intake goes on is because I've found lots of lift, lifter issues and restrictor issues in the past with different engines. And um, having to pull an intake back off after you have, you know, glued the gaskets down and siliconed and, and this and that, um, I, I just have always put it in my mind to, to do it at this step here. So I have, uh, this is an AVA pan. It's big. Um, it's nine quarts plus the filter, so 10 quart capacity on this one. And um, I have my oil filter gauge hooked up to oil filter adapter. And what I'm gonna do is, I've got my priming tool in there with my half inch uh, drill motor. And we're gonna give it a little bit of um, spinach and see what kind of pressure we get. All right, so we saw about 90 PSI, and that's pretty normal with a high volume pump. And um, these are coated bearings, so the, the clearances are a little bit on the tight side, and this is cold oil. And I'm using Valvoline VR1, non-synthetic, 10W30. And um, when the engine warms up on the dyno and the oil temp goes up, uh, that pressure will drop quite a bit. So this is a fresh build, brand new on the stand. And what I'm gonna do is um, kind of hit all the points where we can get leaks and just make sure that we don't have any. Um, this is your main galley, gallery plug and it's, it's dry. Um, all your side plugs are dry. All the ones in the rear are dry. And um, we plugged, I got restrictors in the heads, but it's not a pipe plug, so it's not tapered. And a straight thread generally will not seal uh, without taper, without an O-ring, or without something to it. So. Uh, it's normal to get just a little bit of oil out of there. That's no problem. Same with, same with this one. But uh, I want to see generally uh, at least 70 psi of oil pressure on the gauge, and uh, I have ran into problems in the past where that did not show, and I went looking for an internal leak or or something else, and and was able to find it. So this is a really good step to take before uh, you put the intake manifold on. Um, just prime the pump, you know, make sure everything's good. Um, make sure the pump, you know, works and everything and um, save yourself some trouble if, if something's not right. I've found uh, lifters, hydraulic lifters, where there was no metering orifice in those. And as soon as I started priming, there was a, just a fountain of oil shooting up. So, you know, those are all things that we want to to double check and I will do it once again uh, when the push rods are are mocked up with the rocker arms so that I can make sure all the lifters the plungers are functioning and then when I remove the rocker arms and the push rods I want to make sure that these lifter plungers come all the way up to the top against the circlip and um, again just some just some good tips and tricks to uh, save you some hassle later on down the road so this is Brent with Likens Motorsports and um, continuing work on this 496 and hopefully I'll have some more videos for you later on. Uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.